All right, everyone, it looks like we are ready to go. So coming up is Havard running Nikita, the mystery of the hidden treasure. So let's hand it over to Havard. Yeah, hello, I am Havard. I'm a Norwegian speeder, and with me is one of my best friends. It's Robby, Epic Dude Guy. Hello. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Epic Dude Guy. I've played this game a couple times, and it's pretty good. So everything in the game is like very easily um, uh, changeable, so we have a nice new cursor here. And uh, before we start the run, I want to shout out, I want to shout out Seeker, I want to shout, shout out Sui, I want to shout out Mamrik, uh, multi-winner. There's a few more who's made, helped made this game what it is, Bjorni. But uh, without further ado, let's just start the game. So time starts when I get control of the character, which is in three, two, one, and go. Right. So this is Nikita, Mystery of the Hidden Dragon. Uh, Mystery of the Hidden Treasure, rather. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> it is a Polish kids game. We just skipped a bunch of tutorials by jumping around them. This is the hardest skip in the game. So we want to jump barely around this uh, this uh, tutorial figure, but we don't lose that much time. Uh, because of a runner called Kung Cobra, uh, we can print screen jump later. Also, yeah, if you can explain this that first. Was, uh, uh, the first <clears throat> pitch. So if you jump really close to like a ceiling, then uh, you can ba basically infinite jump as long as the ceiling allows it. But you have to. It's pretty difficult to get up that tree because you have to hug the the right bend of the tree, basically. Yeah. Right, uh, this is important to note. This is the Polish version of the game, but we have Google translated the, all the files. So if things seem a bit weird, that's just because they are. So again, we're going to use this getting caught in uh, getting caught in stuff by having things above us, by running into this sign. And if we do it correctly, we get a triple jump. <laughs> it's kind of finicky. Everything in this game kind of is finicky. So let's hope we get it. There are major glitches in the game that we aren't currently in. There we go. That's the triple jump. If I hold W when I'm on this um, tree stump thing, then I will just immediately fall off. So let's not do that. Okay, so I'm this is the swamp level. Detour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really cool uh, in this level... game because you can walk on anything. Like, if it exists, you can walk on it and there's nothing stopping you. There are some invisible stuff. walls here and there, but mostly yeah. not. Just gotta land here and then jump around and invisible. Okay, <laughs> that was actually pretty yeah. scary. Right, okay, cool. So now for um, the hardest level in the game. Um, there are two strats, both are horrible. We're gonna go for the cooler one first, which is the winner hover. Found by multi-winner on accident. So if I die, I take a checkpoint. This is a checkpoint. And if I die, also subliminal messaging when I pick up coins. <laughs> when I die, the screen will fade to black and I'll enter a cutscene transition. And if I did, oh yes, okay, that's nice. crazy. So, th <laughs> so this is the winner hover. It's a glitch where I just can move around. If I input anything wrong, I just soft lock. But luckily, right below us now is the end of the trigger. And we can just, oh no, that's really bad, okay. <laughs> right. So that's back. what happens if you if you input anything wrong. You just fly away. Let's go for it again. Oh my god, <laughs> twice in a row. It's like a one pixel spot where you can enter like the state of being on like this skateboard you're supposed to be below you. But you like escape the thing that like yeah. puts you in it. It's like two triggers in a row and you hit oh, one no, not again. before you oh, hit the other. Are we in are we in bounce? Oh thank god. Okay, so that's the level. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was actually kind of scary. There's a faster way of doing it, but it's way worse. Oh my god, it's so bad. Right, cool. So this is Castle 1. Uh, this has a strat so hard that I have gotten it twice ever. So no run has it, because no thank you. Uh, every level is like really big and like a long circle or like a donut. And we can more or less just go to the ending again. Subliminal messaging when I pick up points. Right. So yeah, the, the entire game is like pretty broken and that's just thanks to the community that has helped throughout the game. Something to note is that you see these white patches on the ground, that's the only place I can actually jump from. Anywhere else, if I spam space, I can't do anything. But luckily there's a weird mechanic in the game where like if you are running up an edge, um, the game is like trying to push you like, no, you're not so allowed to run up here, so it adds like backwards momentum to you. So if you like back walk up a hill then, 
then you go higher up than you were originally, so you can scale mountains that way, if the slope is correct, that is. Also, this is another glitch. This is the trampoline glitch. If I jump on the trampoline, input nothing, and then input something, I can now overtake like the set trajectory of the trampoline, going out of bounds again. Cool, so this yeah, is the end of the level. We've barely been in bounds in this level, but <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah. really notice it. <laughs> So something important about, or not important, interesting about the game. If you heard of, about Captain Claw, uh, 2D classic, this was supposed to be Captain Claw 2, but then uh, no. So the other hardest uh, um, level in the game, we're gonna do uh, print screen jumping now, which I tried to mention earlier, just grabbing these spears for safety. So if I spam print screen, I jump a bit higher if I jump against the slope. And that's gonna be important. That's gonna be import important here, <laughs> because we're trying to go out of bounds right here. This is the by far the worst way of doing it. So now we're at the edge of the world and I need to jump up to this small edge right here with print screen jumping and hopefully... Oof. Okay, we can st okay. okay, we're just gonna go with the overwrap. That's, uh, that's a shame though. That, that trick is hard enough so that I was, wasn't expecting to get it during the run, but I tried. Using print screen is broken in a lot of games and uh, I don't mm, think yeah. enough people will try that. <laughs> that is definitely a fact. The amount of games that have been broken by print screen is uh, untold, I'm sure. Once again, that was found by Concobra at ceiling jumping, or is that? Oh, yeah. that's here, right? We're just doing, yeah, doing a damage boost from a bush to go out of bounds again. As you can see, the other levels are really big and have like a bunch of like snaking paths you're supposed to go to, but we just don't have to do that. At the end of this level, there's a fight uh, with the oh yeah, pigs are the main enemy, except when they're dogs and pit bulls. I don't understand either. I'm sure some, uh, if some Polish people could tell us the lore of the game, that would be cool. Maybe we just gotta yeah, get find, inside find of this. the correct seam here. Yeah, this is really finicky as well. Okay, cool. Ooh. And again, the game has tank controls, so I'm just using W, A, and D, and space, and K, and J to do stuff. So now we need to actually fight these enemies, so... Spamming throw spear while jumping on them is the fastest way to kill pigs because uh, you can get two like two hits per one hit. <clears throat> if you do it correctly, you can make that kid pig die to the fire he's ahead of. But it's kind of finicky as well, so it's not. Also, there's a major glitch if you uh, kill all these and then bounce on a spider at the same frame, you fly to space. Also, we just ended the level because the end level trigger extends to below those spikes for some reason. Um, a running theme of the game is that we go back to levels we've been in, so this is Castle 2, we, we're just here, about below us here, we flick the switch or whatever. This level is also crazy with skips, but we're gonna go for the easier one, because uh, I haven't practiced the harder one, I'm sorry, John. So, we're just jumping on this tree, um, doing another trampoline glitch, and then doing another trampoline glitch, and with this one, we will go out of bounds on this roof, it, you can barely make it. And now! Guess what? We're out of bounds again. And there's, now there's this is the. To do this, yeah, this is probably the only time you have time for donations. So if you have any donations, uh, you have like a minute. Absolutely. I have a $15 donation from Strife the Historian. Hello, Harvard. It's good to see you and your meme games at a marathon. Good luck on the run and make us all proud. And I have a $25 donation from Age Delete. Watching these speedruns is amazing. I hope to one day learn a speedrun as well as these runners. Keep up the amazing work everyone is t is doing during these times. One more. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I actually have a five hundred dollar donation from Anonymous with a very simple comment of meow. <laughs> so now we're getting to the um, Aztec level of the game. Uh, you're supposed to take this long boat ride, but for some reason you can jump out of the boat. So we're just gonna do that and do these uh, running on hill things that we described earlier. The wall yeah, zigzag. Here. Yeah, the wall zigzag. Very, it is different from another glitch called the Robbie backpedal, which Robbie found. We'll use that in a second though. This used to be the major run killer of the game. But that was until, like I was trying to allude to earlier, Concobra found the print screen jumping. Found it at ESA 2018, I believe, uh, live with us. That was really helpful. We need to get up these walls, doing one run off triple jump, and then this one we need to print screen jump up 
If not, we needed to stay there for like five minutes, jump at the wall, and uh, it was so bad. I'm getting PTSD. Right, so all the levels end with like a balloon thing, so we're going to the balloon thing. Also, we're gonna jump on this dog's head to like get a bit more height. Is it a dog? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, I don't know what the breed is called, but yeah, it's a dog. Sure. Cool. This is the longest level in the game, it has two bosses, it's really long. So, um, but obviously I'm lying, we can just go uh, backwards, double jump over water to a turn here. And it just so happens that the end of the level is right over here, behind the start of the level. Um, some uh, things are really slippery, but luckily we got up that without dying. Cool. Um, this level has insane... We're almost done with the run, by the way. <laughs> the, the, this level is the longest, though, and it's kind of crazy with the strats it has. So we're gonna jump around some more subliminal messaging coming up. We're gonna jump around a really big invisible wall here. And we can get stuck on it, so hopefully we don't. And then barely make it. Again, we take damage from water, so luckily we didn't take damage there. Now, we need our lives back. The, from now on, like, there's a lot of routes we made for this. But the fastest right now is to die. And yes, uh, that is not a, in the game, that is a modded emote. So if we jump on this tree, we get a weird triple jump. And then we go over to this ship over here, and hopefully I can make it with having three lives. We gotta jump over this invisible... Whoa! Okay, we're gonna have to lose... We're gonna have to lose two lives here, so we're gonna have to pick up... So that just might mean we have to replay the level later. Hopefully not, though. So things that you aren't, like, uh, supposed to jump on can be really weird. I'm gonna have to focus for this, but we're gonna... Get our head stuck in this house here. And having one life will be scary for the the end of this double. Oh, yeah, one life. yeah, well, I, I take two damage for every, so the one extra doesn't do anything. Okay. Around the invisible wall here. Cool. Okay, cool. So we're almost in the safe, but at the end of this, we're going super out of bounds now. This level is quite long, but again. In Nikita fashion, we're just going as straight as possible. Oh, I, I alluded to it earlier, but uh, Sui found the game because he's also Polish. I love you, my man. But uh, we just did a blind race I mean, immediately when you found it, and it took a long time. And this level soft talked for all of us. It soft talked for me twice, so that's why it's scary. So if I die here, okay, cool, we didn't die. So now I can get my lives back, get the checkpoint. Uh, just checkpoint the views here on purpose and then we can fight the boss the boss appears on the ship ahead of us but he isn't here yet that's fine you'll hear about that next level in the last level so try to do a strat there to get you know, like uh, some extra time in that cutscene but whatever so this boss if we died at the same time he died the game would just be soft locked and there was nothing we could do so i just got some extra lives Oh, right, there's actually this level as well, I forgot. Not the last level yet. <laughs> Too fast there. <laughs> right, so this is Volcano 2, and this is where we're gonna do the Robby backpedal. So certain objects are really slippery, and you can't really like run or jump up them, even with all the strats we have, even with print screen jumping. But Robby just happened to figure out that sometimes you can just back walk up them. And it's so handy. Grabbing this checkpoint here, and then we can just... Back, up this tree. Because walking backwards has less checks than walking forwards. Yeah, so. it's really weird. Again, you can tell how much we're s of the game we're skipping. We're just edge bugging here to get a jump off. Perfect. So we're supposed to defeat like a dragon boss, uh, spiral the dragon and ride him. And the animation for riding the dragon is so funny. It's so weird. It looks so horrible. But we can't do that. This is so much faster. So. Uh, this is like the place where the dragon is supposed to like fly through, that's why the coins are in the air. I'm just gonna print screen jump up this hill. This also used to be another run killer before print screen jumping, but now with print screen jumping it's way more manageable. Right, so I'm just going over here and... Now it's the actual last level. There's a lot of things to talk about in this one, but you can have like one donation at the start here. Sounds good. Aceon donates ten dollars. Nikita Lord. Nikita wants to find a magical cutlass that lets her rule over all of the oceans. She must stop an evil pirate Dodger who already found a secret portal leading to the cutlass. Dodger was also a good friend of Nikita's father, but he became too greedy. Oh my 
my god, I can't believe we got Nikita lore. This is the first <laughs> time I've heard this. This is amazing. Wow. Cool. Okay, cool. So in this level, we're supposed to gather, I think it's 18 cannonballs to fire on three ships from the evil Dodger Pitbull boss that the guy just mentioned. But we can't do that because it's slow. Um, the final thing we do in the run is like explode a like treasure chest to create the thing. Uh, and that's like how the game ends. And that's like inside the bowels of the main enemy's ship, but that isn't here, it's over there, it's supposed to be. But the inside of the ship are still there, like loaded, even though the ship isn't loaded, if that makes any sense. You'll see in a second. So things are gonna start popping out from the air, and we're just gonna perfectly make it over to this bomb shape and hit it. And that is going to end the game. In a second or two. Gotta do this correctly, and then... Okay, so I did it correctly, so now in like five seconds or something, the game will just end, and that will be time. Hi. Hey. So that was Nikita, Mystery of the Hidden Treasure, uh, a Polish kids game classic from 2006. So shout out to uh, Random Game Routing, and uh, yeah. The Nikita speedrunning community. Thank you, Robbie, for being here. And again, shoutouts to Sui. You're a great friend to me. Yeah, nice one. Cool. Yeah. And that's the boss guy, by the way, that we just defeated, right? Yeah. There you go. The ship we totally interacted with. So, with the translation, you can tell finally the power saber is yours. But is that for sure the end of the adventure? Hmm? Sequel? Soon? Nah, <laughs> sequel? Well, thank you so much, Havard, for an awesome run, and I can definitely say that the adventure for Awesome Games Done Quick 2021 online is not over. We have plenty more games coming your way today. And in that spirit, I have a $500 donation from Yangus Prime that just says, Love GDQ. I also have a $25 donation from Escape Samsara. Volunteered at AGDQ a year ago. Best week of my 2020. Here's to staying healthy this year and let's beat cancer in our lifetime. I've got a $250 donation here from Pangur with no comment, but thank you so much for your fantastic donation. Okay, so that about does it for me. I will be handing things over to YoBGS. I hope you've all had a wonderful time watching a GDQ 2021, and I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back, everybody, to Awesome Games Done Quick 2021 online. I'm Yo BGS. I'll be your host for the next few games. Actually, the beginning of the NES block this morning. You know it's going to be awesome. We are going fast and raising money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation at Awesome Games Done Quick 2021 online. And take a look at some of your incredible generosity so far, including... Well, we've got a $100 donation from Anonymous with no comment and a $100 donation from Red with no comment. Thank you both very much for your generosity.
We have a $25 donation from Ween. It says, let's make that Golden Sun glitch exhibition happen. And remember, you can always go to gamesdonequick.com to see all of the amazing uh, bid incentives that we've got this event, which is always amazing to see. I know coming up for uh, the Dracula 2 run, there's actually an incentive to decide what the file name is is going to be if you're looking to try and snipe that name you're going to want to do that pretty soon because well sal is in the lead with 400 dollars. lamp meanwhile uh, is trailing with 60 and gumi has 40 bucks so a lot of ground to be made up if something is going to uh overtake sal for the file file name for dracula 2. Safze donates $10, saying greetings from Germany, but not actually. Always happy to see GDQ keep on going, even during troubling times. I'm excited for what's to come. As am I. I'm excited for the nest block. It's early in the morning. You know, you get your cup of coffee. It's nice and cozy, and we're going to see some incredible games. So get ready for that as we continue to get set up for Dracula 2 which if you're not familiar with Dracula 2, I guarantee you, you will be uh, once you see some of the gameplay. So I'm excited for that. Cheese contributes $25 to the Prevent Cancer Foundation with a very simple comment saying, I love this community. I hate cancer. Cheers, y'all. Well, cheers, Cheese, and thank you for your $25 donation. Echo Zero 25 donates $15, saying my aunt and my father are both cancer survivors. They were lucky and were diagnosed early. PCF are a great charity to support so that more people can be lucky to have early diagnosis to improve their survival. And here's money. Let's get rid of cancer and have more games, i.e. Hades. I agree. Jake Parker contributes $25, saying, I just conquered my own battle with stage 2B Hodgkin's lymphoma during 2020 on top of the pandemic and know firsthand what the journey feels like. Let's rid the world of cancer once and for all. Jake, thank you very much for your $25, and congratulations on conquering your battle. <laughs> 